Hi, it's uh, Xavier down the bottom of the garden, and I'm going to attempt to uh, get through this um, this larch. Um, this is one of the last of the, uh, the batch that I bought in 2001 when I bought 20 saplings, uh, one year old, two year old saplings. And this one has been just sitting in a plant pot for 20 years. Um, it hasn't got very thick, and obviously it's in a lot of taper, um, but I've got to try and decide where the front's going to be. And then I'm going to start doing some work on it. Also, in the background, you may well hear screaming, shouting, music, and announcements. And guess what? It's the last day of term, so I imagine it's the academy up the road. So hopefully, that's not going to get in the way. But here we go. Um, I've gone for the front. I'm looking here, um, and the main reason is I don't know. I do know that the first problem has got to be solved regardless. I've got this top here, I've got this side here, and then I've got this great big hunk here. Um, logic says that I have to lose all of that. Um, but I'm just taking it round, trying to decide how that would sit in with the front. And truthfully, it's, if you look at it, it's, there's no taper in that at all. Um, but I've also not got really any branches that are giving me a good upward angle where I could start a new new leader from. I tend to, I tend to like to have something that's at least giving me a reasonable angle, otherwise it just looks a bit odd. Potentially there. That, that looks like the place if I was going to cut. Also, yeah, so I think I'm going to go for that. It sounds like that shouting may get too much actually. So, unless anyone disagrees with me, no, I can't hear anyone. I'm going to go there, I think. There's one, two. There's a semi chance I can take. So I'm going to cut across there. Okay, it's the first move I'm going to make. So before I do, before I do that, let's remove all this so you can actually see what I'm cutting away. That, that, that. Oh, look, a ladybug. Fly away, ladybug. Oh, it's 100 meter finalist. There we go. Sorry, you probably can't hear it. Right, so it's the top there. I may not need to actually cut. I may be able to get in there. Okay, so. Let's try to decide where the front's going to be. It's decide whether or not I keep one, two, and three, four. They're all quite near the top, and that is a horrendous lump. Let's be real. That is just too fat. Do I regret it already? Maybe. So I can see the, there's a natural front here, because you've got this clear area here. Truth, you really should. I've been studying this tree a little bit um, without much success. A lot of branches coming from the same point. I'm going to look. Do you know what? Um, this is the point where I'm just going to say I'm just going to go for a cup of coffee and have a little look. It's, okay, let's return. Well, I'm down to one battery bar. I've um, made a mistake with my battery, so I think I might be losing my battery charger. So we'll see how far we get. I've got the front there. Um, so that probably means I need to lose this branch here. But I've got these that I can move up there. And I also think that's probably the best of the, the root bases. So I'm going for that as my front here. So I keep that there so I know. 
So that means I've got one, they're almost opposite each other. Got a rear branch. That one I don't need, I think. So that one, I've got two that are parallel. This, this one and this one are literally just above each other. So in the design, one would cover the other. So in sustainability, I either keep the top one, but that's gonna mask out lower stuff here. So let's have a look how the branch divides. That's two branches. I like the bottom one actually better, but if I keep the bottom one, then it means I have to lose this one. Uh, I'm also trying to see flexibility, which branches I can bend up. What's got a bud here? Oh, there you go, Mr. Ladybug. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. He's gone. Right. I mean, that's that's all going. I may well wire that out a bit. Take a wire out, but you've got one, two, three, four. It's quite heavy. One, two, three, there. So that's the one that has to go, really. It's a shame. I like it. But it has to go. It does it? It's definitely the same point. I'm going to take it. Decision made. Go. Ah, oh, I mean, look at that ramification on that. I bet I made a mistake here. So where are we now? Got this big hole there. Moving up, that's fine. The next decision is going to be here. We've got two that are opposite each other. Um, one decision I'm going to make is up here it's a very um, ugly straight line up there so I'm tempted to uh, cut the top bit off like that you can destroy a tree very very quickly without thinking about it um, keeping that gone for a new front it's actually here um, and I think I might be doing something with this branch and pulling this up something down across I don't know whole new design on it um, it doesn't go in well with where the trunk is uh, I'm not sure about this because there's a big flare across here but I may well end up losing this so I can't really see deep enough down to see what the roots are like so I'm sort of taking a punt in the blind here I think that's going to be my best line at the moment. Um, but this is where I say, sometimes, even the best of us, and that's me, isn't it? Yeah, right. Um, get lost. And you have to sometimes just go, I don't know. And, uh, and say, this tree is over 20 years old. It can wait another day. I've got, I've got another easy two weeks, three weeks before I have to finish work on this one. So this is one of the ones where I've marked it again, I've taken a few branches off and I'm going to come back to it because I'm actually not that sure. Anyway, um, I'll just quickly show you what I have just done. I didn't do it on tape because I thought it was boring. Uh, it's this. It's a right old raggedy thing. Um, I can't even remember where it started from. But this is another one that was just an off cut or thrown out in a garden somewhere and I rescued it. Uh, it was substantially smaller and you'll probably see pictures of it but yeah it's a cork bark elm and I've literally just thinned it right out. It's got a, it's got a wicked old uh, movement to the uh, left or the right whichever way you look at it. Wicked that is. I've got to reduce back here but I'm trying to actually bring, bring the leaf pads in a bit. Um, these had a tendency to run and then you get nothing on the inside. This is far too long here. But uh, yeah, so I just did some basic pruning on that earlier. Anyway, uh, from Xavier down the bottom of the garden. So it's uh, Xavier down the bottom of the garden and uh, I can't believe it's been nearly two weeks since I 
did that little uh, short part of uh, the starting the prune on it and uh, this tree is really really causing me issues uh, just because I can't decide what to do with the front so I, I picked something and that's there um, and it's going to require some wiring um, but what I was trying to find is the compromise between fat down there there's a, a wide root base down there which I'm not sure if you can see it um, but I'm not entirely sure the spread further down but assuming that I can't remove that and I may well be able to um, I don't want to because there's actually a little bit of narrowing right there so with this in place and this here it actually distracts the eye um, so having known that I've already cut off a branch that could have been quite useful there which is again another reason do not cut until you're absolutely sure um, I thought I thought putting it here um, you can see the line here but what I actually like is further up here this change in direction but also because I can use some of the growth up here wired into different positions up here um, I can wire this branch a little bit around so that will then cover that spot that <laughs> got created by me removing the wrong branch and then I'm just going to clip back a little bit and see what happens so that is my front okay so it's looking down here just clean up some stubs Bit of stuff that I won't want This is my line in. There's something crossing there, I won't want that one over there. Do anything too close in. It may get wired around to so looking through the gap. I've got this little thing here. I can feel a spot there, so that could be wired. So that's the first area, it's near the top of the tree. I'm at That branch there may get removed. I've just got such a gap here, and that's my own silly mistake. I'm gonna have to move something in place for that. Oh, I could kick myself for having done that. Okay, I've got that. That's there. Here we've almost got three from one point, but there's a bit of a separation, you probably can't quite see it. One, two, it's not the prettiest of looking. But it's interesting, underneath there's something quite small, I might actually go for that. That's what I like about some larks, they'll bud from underneath, and that's actually a much better branch for me. Again, we've got three coming from the same point. Okay, what we've got here, this great big knob from this junction here, we've got one, two, three, four, and that's heavy and coarse. So take, get rid of that. So let's see what we get now. Much lighter, get rid of that one. And from that, a little coming off, coming off. I'm just going to let that grow out. Thinking about the geometry of the branch. Something here that's coming. So that's basically three from the same point there. That's going right across, isn't much good.
frames coming out the side here, and here. Got two from that point, that one's actually going up. If you look at the relationships, it's actually going to grow up into that mess, so we can just remove that. I can't twist it with a wire particularly, I think. Okay, so that's going to go down. Got branching there, that probably will wire and wire it up. So I'll leave that for now. I'll leave that for now. And the obvious. What I'm always looking to do is if I can actually, it's a very straight looking, there's not a lot of taper in that branch. I don't think it's given us some options, but I think it has given us an option. This one here. Okay, so this grows out, and that, that will look a little less rank. We're there, we've done that, we're moving up to this one here. What have I got? Messing quite close. And we've got, so I'm just making sure we haven't got any threes or clumps like that that may thicken. Obvious, some obvious wins with pruning. Crop growth, that sort of thing. But this one up here, this. this maybe this branch here may be one that actually goes. I don't need to do that yet. So let's just have a look and see what's. Debating down here, I don't know if you can see it. There is an ugly knuckle. But closer in, you've actually got this branch here and this one here. Just don't think it's enough to take over to remove that entire. I'm thinking about removing this entire branch here. That's a really coarse knuckle. If I took that, just like that. I could create a secondary pattern in there. I don't know. I won't make the decision yet. I might make that another time. Just cut some length off. And I'm sorry if I'm not quite being clear with you. What I'm talking about is I may well be able to create separation there with that lower. Don't know yet. Depends how the wire works. Little branch here. Length off. Okay. This great monster here. That's just a straightforward. Right, let's go. There we go. Take that one because that that means that one there is naturally horizontal. So more I can do there. Okay. Okay. Uh, this mess up here. Now I could see myself actually removing that whole clump at some point. It's a great big horrible nubble and either that getting wired across, that could wire across. Uh, but for now I just want to clear up because that could also wire. Mind you that doesn't I always have to remember that knob's going to be there, although I can, as that heel slowly take that further back. Okay, so three branches, four branches from the same point actually. I'm going to use that and this probably to reduce. Let's see what I've got. Oh, 
a ton of stuff in there. It's down the bottom, so let's get rid of that. That little one there, so we'll get rid of that. Use that one and that one. Okay. Huh. That could be wired. So out of that, we're left with these two, which are, is that an obtuse or whatever angled bar with wire, I can throw them, get them together, or let's just short take some length. Now, same here. At least, I can definitely see. I can see what I want to do. Um, Definitely when that branch wires, and I will do that wire now. Mm. Let's take the length off these. I don't know which of these, so there's four basically all around the same point. It all depends on how I twist the wire as to which is the one to remove, but I don't actually think I need to make that decision yet. Um, so until I can actually see where I'm going to wire on it. I don't want to do this amount of wiring there because it's just too much needles and I'll cause damage. So. Looks like there's three from one down there. So I've got that one, so do I need the one above it? I'm going to say not. Okay. It's funny if that if that root or well, that was just a slightly different uh, root base there. That could be a better front up there. So what we want to do now is do the wiring that branch. I need to a bit of heavy gauge wire. Just trying to think if there's another branch near it I want to muck about with. Not there, I want to muck about with that one, but that doesn't need heavy gauge. And I don't want to go all the way up there with the wire, so I've got basically one. So I just need to anchor it off. Probably anchor it off that, come up. Okay, I've got to be careful with this because the sat wood is quite soft. Um, you see how easy this stuff comes away, but I want to get it around very very carefully under and then it's going to anchor on this one this one that okay bit of a downward Oh, that's a horrible, horrible bit of wiring. If you all want to cringe at that, that is the worst wiring you'll ever see. Honestly, that is truly obscene. Truly obscene, I'm sorry. And I'm going to have to watch that closely um, because these are going to expand if the tree doesn't throw up its roots in the air in disgust at what I've just done to it. Anyway, so... I know that's what I might just put a bit of wire on just to, to tell the tree what shape I'm looking at, maybe, just up there. Okay, um, yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen there. A lot of needles will die off there. I've drawn these two close together, split apart and thinned it out. I suppose what you can say out of all of this is that at least you can see the tree now. You can see what it was compared to what I originally had as it. I do like this upper section. Definitely like this upper section. Um, I think that could be really good. 
less less impressed down here until I see what the uh, the rootage is like. Um, I'm not really going to be sure whether that base is going to be up to it. But you know what? It's a start. Um, and sometimes the hardest thing with our trees is knowing how or where to start. And you often have more than one option, especially if the uh, trunk or the root base isn't really that clear to you. So rather than do nothing, do something. And I certainly did something. So from Xavier down the bottom of the garden with his Japanese larch. Um, cheers. Okay, so it was a, an add-on to uh, to what I did. Uh, well, that was probably about five or six weeks ago. Well, it was even longer, seven weeks ago. This is how it's looking now. Um, you've got a lot of push of, of new um, new buds have come out. So yeah, big success that, and I'll have some fun with that in the future.